Good day guys, this is Practifile and uh, today we're gonna have you know, a look at the a new product from Apple. It's the Snow Snowy White. It's their dongle deck. I don't know the price yet. I think it hasn't been released. The, the spec should be here. I don't know if you can read that, but it says it, it, it has a 3.5 and a 4.4 balanced out and a 140 to 300 milliwatts of power, I think. Yeah, let's let's not take it long. Thank you so much, Apple, for sending this over and also to Hi-Fi Go for giving me the opportunity. I don't know if you believe in DAX, but yeah, for my case, I hear some difference, but negligible, but there are some differences, especially with the, the IM that we are gonna be testing now. I'll reveal that later. But for now, this is the box here. So it's pretty simple, small, and um, you open it like this. Okay, you got some papers here. The manual. Oh, okay. Wow. This is what it looks like. So you have the 3.5 and the 4.4 and the volume rocker and the USB. Shiny USB. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying it on my M3X um, because first I needed to listen to how this DAP sounds and then after that compare it to the dongle. I know I can hear some difference and um, yeah, I'm just gonna try it out. So anyhow, this is the Lit Sure Cadenza 12, okay? This is expensive. It's a $2,000 <laughs> I am so I think this set is enough to test how this deck really sounds because if I'm gonna be testing it with budget people are gonna say that you know it depends on the I am if it reveal or something now $2,000 I am I have high prices for the cadenza 12 actually and I think this is more than enough to test if you know there are changes with sources because before, I tried it with my M3X and an LG and the difference is very noticeable. On the LG one, I think it's V60 or something. On the LG one, this sounds very, very crisp in the treble, actually borderline bright. But on my M3X, it's actually a bit warmer in comparison. And a lot of people, including my friends, we've tried it and they said the same thing. So probably this IM is very transparent on its source. So. Um, yeah, let's 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 try that here. So, um, I'm gonna listen to the just just to get hold of like if, if there's really if there are really there are really changes, you know. Just I'm just gonna listen to a few songs. Say for example, Under My Umbrella by Incubus. Okay. And while I'm listening, I'm gonna be preparing this one here. OTG Endo. Probably this one. I think anything should work. Man, this design is really good though. And uh, it feels like they're built pretty well. So it's 32-bit 768 DSD 256. Man, I like this Cadenza 12, man. It's so resolving. Yeah, I like the treble on these. Okay, now let's start trying this out here. So I'm gonna be inserting the dongle. Let's see if it works. Oh, okay. It's starting to light up. Allow USB player pro. I right, have to make sure that the volume is... I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to blast my ear fish the volume. Okay, I can change the volume. Okay, let's do that again. Oh my god, like... Yeah, I feel like this is a bit... Now, compared to my m3x the dap i feel like this is cleaner in comparison because this is serious logic and this is ess yeah i feel like this is more engaging i mean as i've mentioned before the changes are always or almost always negligible but you do notice some changes okay let's try playing god by polyphia i like how the volume steps are they're not really that big so you can kind of like fine tune the volume now I, I like how it sounds on the cadenza 12 okay it's not too bright and it's not too warm yeah i mean like the sources so I've mentioned, man, like, it sounds good, man. Uh, it's probably, like, DAP level, and it's it has enough power, man. It's bad that I can't see. I think it has independent volume, because it doesn't uh, allow me to change the volume here. Usually, if I use DAX, like, and if I change the volume, it's using the, the software volume from the... You know from the this source but i think this is independent because i can change the volume here oh okay i can also change the volume here so i can change the volume on my dap and also here now i'm full here yeah so far it's like it's yeah it's a normal sounding source it's so hard to review sources man but the one thing i notice it's like how 
clear it is it's very yeah there, there might be a bit like i don't know or maybe just my m3x is warmer overall because the cadenza 12 sounds a bit digital that's what i can say okay let, let me just confirm that i'm gonna remove this and listen to this song again unwell by matchbox 20 i don't know man like are they the same? Yeah, as I'm, I mean, like, the M3X has that warmer tone to vocals. It's like the M3, uh, it's like the Shanling How sound. Like, everything is just smooth and relaxed. It's not really that in-your-face aggressiveness. So I, I do notice, like, the difference on the Shanling How sound and the Cirrus Logic How sound, if, if that makes sense. But anyhow, this is just my, you know, my first impression. I'm gonna be trying this out even more. Yeah, it has that. It sounds more transparent on because the Amtrak is really smooth. Like it's really good for vocals. Yeah, and then the Snowy White sounds more like intimate. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know. Maybe this is a bit better. Depends on. Wow. Okay, this actually sounds good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like <laughs> it must be. Yeah. For some reason. It sounds engaging. It's more engaging than my DAP, which is the M3X. It's not that it's very noticeable, but you hear the difference. Like, everything is closer and, like, clearer and more transparent compared to, like, a smoother presentation of Shanling and, um, maybe it, it's, it has something to do with their house sound. Um, but yeah, these are good impressions of the Apple. Now, the thing I... Okay, I... I I always, I always say this, um, I mean, I appreciate how dongles and other, like, I have some dongles there. I have Avani, Abigail, and other dongles. And this one here is my first dongle with, like, a 4.4 balance. I'm a, I'm a very mobile guy, so I always walk around, and, like, imagine sticking this to my source, or, or my phone. I don't know, just for me, it's not so convenient. So probably in a in a desktop setup, I I can use this. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll try measuring this if it can be used for measuring earphones. But I appreciate the sound. It's just that you you need to carry a lot, and it's not really that portable for me. But I do appreciate how this one sounds. As I mentioned. If you are on a tight budget, you have your phone as a source, or you have your desktop, you don't want a full, pr you don't want to pay full price of a of a DAP, dedicated DAP, then probably dongles are good. Okay, these are just my early impressions. I'm gonna do my final review on this. Um, so far, it's good. Um, I do like how it sounds. Um, for portability, it's it's me personally. You don't have to care about my opinion because you may have different needs. Um, but yeah, I can see myself using this just because of. How how it sounds so if probably if i'm home i'm gonna just insert it to my uh my dap because all my songs are here or maybe my pc and i like how it sounds i like how it sounds so i think that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching my video um be sure to like my channel and yeah subscribe and uh, i'm gonna but i'm gonna do a final review on this very quick um like i'm, I'm gonna try out the 4.4 how it drains the battery and stuff like that so thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye